Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. With me. When I talk of encounters, I'm not limiting it to supernatural visionary encounters. The Lord appeared unto Samuel in Shiloh by his word. God can appear to men by his word, giving light even from scripture. It doesn't always have to be a visionary out of body encounter. Not everybody may have the privilege of meeting Jesus as a person, encountering angels. No, 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 no. But once you can encounter his word, his word, not just the letter, the spirit behind it. You can read every day, fear not, but the daylight comes from that scripture. You see that? It comes with a grace that empowers you to fear not. That what would have made you afraid will no longer make you afraid because light has come from scripture. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Spend time to know God by his word. Don't be ignorant if you want to excel in life and destiny. The God that you know, the truths that you know, that is what will give you confidence, is what will give you audacity. Many years ago, I read a few things in scripture. And looking from hindsight now, sometimes I'm tempted to laugh at myself. But I was foolish enough to believe God. And I was foolish enough to believe them. There is nothing God has said concerning my life that I do not believe. Because every time you believe, he gives you power to become. As many as believed him, he gave them. There is a gift that follows believing. It's called the power to become. Say it after me. The power to become. One more time. The power to become what you have believed is given after you believe, not before. The power to become. You believe that God lifts you. The power to be lifted is released. You believe that God is your salvation. The power to become happens when you can believe him enough. Hallelujah. You need an encounter with the God of the Bible. You need an encounter. God is calling you to ministry here. Don't rush to go and print handbills and posters. No. Know the God of the Bible. Infirmities and sicknesses and curses and yokes that are upon the people you are sent to. The spirits behind them will ask you who sent you. It's a question if you cannot answer, you will remain defeated forever. Do you believe that? How about the business world? You may say, I'm not called into the fivefold ministry. My God, you need the revelation of God more in business, in fact, in my opinion. Because the king of Tyre, there is a spirit that sits upon that marketplace. Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church. Yeah. Because he knows what the wealth of the kingdom can do in the hands of people who love Jesus. You may have heard me say in my teachings that the name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes resources to lift it high for the nations to see. Are we together? And so he comes to steal, he comes to kill, he comes to destroy. But the people that do know their God, the people that do know their God, the preachers that do know their God, the businessmen that do know their God, fountain of life, if you do know your God, the Bible says you shall be strong capacity strength inner strength emotional strength intellectual strength and then he says you shall do exploits do exploits everything that brings glory to the name of the lord becomes your business do exploits testimonies from your life men will look at you and you do not add up but that becomes their concern you see that as for you you will keep leaping by the spirit and one day you look at yourself and say, what is my business doing in 15 nations of the earth? How did I start? 
And when people come to ask you, you say, well, I cannot boast of knowing any, everything. But the one thing I do know <laughs> is that when God holds your hand, I'm praying that you're believing what I'm telling you. My sister, God can hold your hand and transition you from a level of suffering and mediocrity. God can hold the hands of a preacher. God can hold the hand of an ordinary family for want of expression. And every time you see people extraordinary in the kingdom, let me tell you, it is because God has helped them. And that help comes when you encounter the God of the Bible. I look at my life today and with all humility, sometimes I'm not a very emotional person. I've tried and tried to be, it just didn't work. And I told myself, there's, there's no point. I'm sure one day it will come on its own. But there are a few times I cry. And that is when I reflect on what is made out of my life. I look at my life and sometimes I say, only a fool says God does not help men. Honestly. There are things that God does in your life that you are the first person to be shocked before those who hear. He says, when the Lord turn again the captivity. Am I prophesying or I'm just speaking? When the Lord turn again that captivity, owing in business, failing in destiny, trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the midst of mockers and naysayers but when God comes <laughs> and just picks you sometimes it can be overnight let me stand by the grace of God and speak over someone that by the power that raised Christ from the dead if you have the faith to believe this everything that has left you in shame reproach caused you to cry personally corporately i call upon my god who is also your god come out of that situation now come out of that situation now come out of that financial situation come out of that health situation come out of that business situation come out of that career situation in the name of jesus christ Please be seated. Can I sing a song for you? I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified receive manifest his power and his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted receive manifest your power and your wisdom Lord till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe breathe upon my life it's a prayer tonight breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe breathe Sing it one more time from the depth of your heart. Breathe, Lord, breathe, 
that something from heaven will rest upon your destiny till the nations see Jesus till the nations see Jesus till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorify listen to me I'm singing it for you but it's your life and your results that will do the singing the kind of results that will begin to flow from your life and I'm speaking this upon you and in this church you will begin to see extraordinary manifestations manifestations of power manifestations of wisdom that ordinary people will walk into this church and encounter Ebenezer the God that lifts men the God that helps men the God that rewrites the stories of men where a little one becomes a thousand a little one becomes a thousand that God will fish help us from around the nation and bring them to your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated an encounter with God gives you confidence gives you audacity do you know why God brings you to a point of encounter because the assignment that follows that encounter only the man who has seen God can do it if you don't have an encounter with God you will run away from the assignment he gives you it will never be in the strength of the flesh for you to achieve divine purposes no when God tells you a thing you can do you most likely had a demon because God will tell you something that that version of you cannot do it not in the strength of the flesh he will always tell you what will make you need him to get the job done is someone learning why would you cut 12 ordinary untrained people from fishermen and all of that and you want to commit such a mandate to them haven't never learned anything is that a wise leadership strategy many of you here are leaders you've stretched your intelligence you've been trained by some of the best institutions would you carry such a weak do you know that in selecting the disciples who would later become apostles no man assisted Jesus so you would not say human factors came in how do you fast all night as the word incarnate and select the kind of weak people Jesus selected but the question is was the job done that is called the wisdom of the just sometimes it may not subscribe to logic but within that weakness is tremendous strength are we together you need an encounter with God I'm speaking to someone here because after this conference you should go and buy books for some of you after this conference your retreat starts three days with God crying and say Lord don't send me if you are not going to reveal yourself to me who shall I tell Pharaoh has sent me you are sending me to be a financial apostle a kingdom entrepreneur Lord I don't want to this is not about money it's not about buying and selling wealth is warfare the Bible says strong men retain wealth wise men get wealth but strong men retain wealth it takes beyond creativity to retain wealth intelligence value that is served intelligently can bring you wealth but it takes strength and capacity when you prosper and remain prosperous it's not a product of intelligence again there is strength are we learning let me rush the remaining two and then we're done for tonight but for someone you came here to hear a message that you need an encounter with God the encounter you've had hitherto is not sufficient I tell you sincerely not for the assignment God is giving you you need to go back and cry 
I need to know you. You are sending me like Aura Roberts, giving me the healing of anointing to go to the nations. Make sure you stay and know the healer. You will see cases that will rattle your faith. It is the revelation of the healer that will keep you audacious. God is granting you grace to be an intercessor to shift the spiritual climate over nations. You must know God. If not, by the time your consistency in prayer opens you up to visions and you see certain demons and spirits, you will stop praying and literally run for your life and say, this vision is not worth it. Hmm. What is this strange being that I'm seeing? But you need to know the one who has sent you. So you can look at those spirits and say, I come against you. The spirits that have held onto territories and you swing open the gates of territories for the purposes of God to thrive. You need an encounter with God. Number two. The second key. You need faith. Hmm. Becoming a sign and a wonder subscribes to the law of faith. Please someone say the law of faith. Faith is a law. The Bible says so. In addition to having an encounter with the, the God of the Bible, you need faith. Four times in scripture, the Bible says that just shall live by faith. To live by faith means you prosper by faith. To live by faith means you go forward by faith. That the entire scope of the believer's experience is faith dependent. Faith dependent. What is faith? Your persuasion the depth of your conviction about God and the integrity of his person and then the corresponding action that you take to support that conviction. Faith is beyond believing. Faith is beyond agreeing with God. You can agree with God and yet you're not walking by faith. The proof of faith in one word is obedience. Whatsoever he tells you to do, do it not see it not explain not want to do it whatsoever he says to do do it Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 the Bible says it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to do and observe all that I command you this day to do and observe observe and do observe and do observe and do not just listen observe and do he says you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth I saw this scripture many years ago and I believed it exalted it was not a parable a man can be exalted such that you are void of shame regardless where you go to provided it is this earth there is honor preserved for you by reason of light exalted above the nations of the earth and that these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you I believe that he says, if they are willing and obedient, they shall eat the good of the land. Please hear me, there is good in every land. But it is faith that delivers your portion. Do you believe that? There is good in Lagos. The increase of the earth is for all. The Bible says, even the king is fed by that which comes from the field. That means in this earth, it is not that God decided to bless others and leave others. The increase of the earth is for all. But it takes faith to command your portion. It takes faith to insist on your portion. Are we together now? Jesus queried unbelief many times. He queried unbelief everywhere he saw it. Mark chapter 11. From verse 22, 23, 24. But particularly verse 24. After Jesus cursed the fig tree, they came by the morning and they saw that the tree had been cursed. And Jesus said in verse 22, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, say desire. One more time, say desire. It says, When you pray, believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. The just shall live by faith. The businessman shall live by faith. I learned early in life that there are no guarantees anywhere. The pursuit and the passion for guarantee is a waste of time. There are no guarantees. 
the strongest of men and systems still fail there are no guarantees anywhere you are going to have to trust God sooner or later and jump out of that boat and walk on water sometimes you will not even have the encouragement of other apostles but you are going to have to trust God to walk on water you want to build that house there are no guarantees one day you have to get up and buy even if it's five bags of cement that is all you have but start by faith are we together faith ministry is done by faith this morning when the pastors got up you did not sign on any form that you'll be here by evening there are no guarantees it took faith while they cleaned and organized this place they knew what god told them about this conference and it made them to continue even when this place was empty now here you are you see that now we live in a world that is obsessed with guarantees now i'm not saying be careless and be reckless with your life but believe me any man who has attained a position of exploit in business in life in destiny they would tell you there were times they honestly broke the rules to rise it will not always be about quietly meticulously following the path of least resistance there are times you have to jump out of that boat surprisingly if he's the one who tells you to come he doesn't allow you sink he will defend his name even when you fall if it be thou bid me come and he said come he never said peter come it was to be everybody's experience but the person who jumped out of the boat was the person who the testimony became around he never said peter come if he said peter come any one of them coming now will be disobedience but he said come he's still telling people to come he didn't stop with peter for some of you he's been saying come for years come come rise higher in ministry come draw closer I, you can become a greater version of yourself but many of us are still having the fear of the other apostles we're in the boat commenting on those who are walking and say you see i knew this would have been me not realizing that peter only started sinking he did not sink jesus held his hands are we together now the assignment was to walk on water did peter walk on water the assignment is to prosper if he says come will you prosper it doesn't matter how many times you try to sink when his hand holds you the most important thing is that the assignment gets done are we together apostle but i've tried and tried and tried and tried to have the child i've done everything why don't you trust God again that after this conference, you begin to count your days? He said, Master, we have toiled all night. He didn't bring another sea, didn't bring another boat, the same thing. But he just added his word to it. Nevertheless, that's the factor, add thy word. It is impossible to walk by faith when you are ignorant of the promises of God. You need to know the promises of God representations of his commitment towards your life and your destiny spare me a minute to give you the third key and then we wrap up but it's important for you to know that you need faith if you must succeed you need faith to do ministry you need faith to excel in nigeria come on nigerians huh have you forgotten there are too many things to remind you in this nation every day that you need faith all you need to do is to wake up Nigeria for you all you need to do is to wake up and you will find out that there is a reason from from your first stretch on the bed you are reminded by everything around you that if you dare throw faith away <laughs> hallelujah listen with all due respect you know how many pastors plunged to depression after COVID? Because for many of them, they had contracts of bills for auditoriums they were paying, and it didn't matter. The people said, well, we're sorry, but COVID affected everybody, including me. The contract still stands, as discussed. 
How about the three months, no church, no service, no offering? Well, go and discuss it with the God who sent you. But as far as this contract is concerned, there are people who never recovered. There are people who plunged into depression. Am I right? There are businesses that went down never to rise up. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you will keep down, lie you will tear down, coming after me. No shadow you will light up, no shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you will. Hear me, I rebuke the spirit of fear. For some of you, if you keep giving flimsy excuses, you will never make progress. You will watch others come behind you not to compare. Some of you have been giving excuses from time immemorial. Why have you know I, I need to calculate how I cause fear right now? In the name of Jesus. I cause fear right now my God has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind hear me fountain of life I cause fear the fear of death the fear of sickness the fear of failure I call it by name and I cause it by the God of heaven the righteous is as bold as a lion Listen, let me challenge you. Go and register that company after this conference. All you have is the money for registration. Go and register it. What do I do next? Place the CAC document on the ground and keep praying every day. Pray with your pen and paper. Let me tell you the truth. Fear is a cancer that has pegged many destinies there are people who fear they fear to their detriment it's better to fail honorably trying than to sit down giving flimsy excuses many of you have watched your vision transfer to people those who had the courage God gave you ideas you kept giving explanation he took it to somebody somewhere and the person began to run like Elijah and that vision has come to pass and you keep biting your finger and I saw this you are not the only one who saw it visions are like rainfall whoever brings out a container receives it are we together last year the Lord gave me an instruction to go and hold a conference in Manchester the largest indoor auditorium theater in the whole of the United Kingdom and that is a risk to hold a conference during a weekday and then the Lord gave me an instruction there he said there is a narrative about the church that I want to correct and because of that you're not going to raise any offering you will not collect any offering we had a workforce of over 2,000 plus five people and he says you will feed every one of them go and preach Get that place filled up, pay everything, do everything and return. Huh. I wasn't born in UK. If you don't have faith, you see, ba, no matter how you make in, in Africa, we call it mouth. You make mouth and all of that. You will be embarrassed to a point that your failure becomes a memorial. That every time people want to warn others they say remember this person <laughs> hmm. hallelujah when god brought great glory to his name i remember on my way back i said but god i fear you i fear you i fear you i fear you there is nothing god cannot do oh because i said it you didn't believe okay there is nothing you cannot do 
Maybe if I sing it, you'll believe it. have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now. Oh, you, you are my zero. Hallelujah. So number one, you need an encounter with the God of the Bible if you truly intend to be a sign and a wonder. Number two, you need to understand the law of faith. Faith is predicated upon light, illumination, and awareness of the promises of God. I call them exceeding great and precious promises. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.